Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about fifth standard science unit one term one book back questions with answers, which will be explained in a detail. The unit name is organ systems. What is the length of the alimentary canal? Choose the correct answer. First question is, what is the length of the alimentary canal? 3 to 5 meter, 5 to 6 meter, 9 to 11 meter, 6 to 9 meter. D. 6 to 9 meter because it consists of many specialized divisions. Which organ is involved in respiration? Kidney, lungs, heart, brain. Lungs. How many kidneys do we have? 2, 3, 1, 4. 2. Functional unit of brain is neuron, nephron, brain stem, nerves. Neuron. Blood is pumped by lungs, heart, kidneys, bones. Heart. Fill in the blanks. A group of organs together make up and dash system. Organ system. The process by which body removes waste is called dash. Excretion. The number of chambers in the human heart is? 4. The functional unit of kidney is? Nephron. The human nervous system is divided into dash parts? 2 parts. The circulatory system is made up of heart, blood and blood vessels. True or false? True. Important functions of the heart is to transport blood with nutrients, oxygen, waste and hormones. True or false? True. The brain is protected by the rib gauge. True or false? False. The functional unit of kidney is neuron. True or false? False. Circle the odd one. Mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, lungs. Lungs. Nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, stomach. Stomach. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, kidney. Kidney. Taste, hear, think, smell. Think. Cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, nephron. Nephron. So directly the answers of match, of, match the following is given. So digestive system. Alimentary canal. Respiratory system. Lungs. Circulatory system. Heart. Excretory system. Kidney. Nervous system. Brain. Now we will see answer briefly questions. First question. Name the salivary glands in our mouth. The three parts of salivary glands in our mouth are parotid, sublingual and submandibular glands. Okay. What is respiration? The process of providing oxygen to the tissues of the body and removing carbon dioxide from the tissues is called respiration. What is the function of pericardial fluid? The space between the membranes is filled with pericardial fluid. The fluid protects the heart from shock. Fourth question. Name the chambers in human heart. The heart is divided into four chambers. They are two upper chambers co are called auricles. Two lower chambers are called ventricles. Arrange the excretory system in correct sequence. Urinary bladder, ureter, kidney, urethra. What is the answer? Kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, urethra. What are the two parts of peripheral nervous system? Peripheral nervous system is made up of two parts, somatic nervous system, autonomous nervous system. Seventh question, what are the functions of blood? Blood transports nutrients, oxygen, waste and hormones. It regulates the water level and body temperature. It takes oxygen to the tissues and reaches the lungs to take oxygen again. So these are the brief answers for these seven questions. Now let us see answer in detail question. First question. List out the functions of the digestive system. Saliva moistens food. Salivary enzymes break down complex starch into simple carbohydrate molecules. Digestive enzymes are used for digesting fats. 
proteins and carbohydrates so these are the important functions of digestive system second question explain the main parts of circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart blood and the blood vessels first the heart the heart is a hollow muscular organ conical in shape the heart has four chambers two upper chambers called auricles two lower chambers called ventricles blood it transports nutrients oxygen waste and hormones it regulates the water level and body temperature blood blood pumped through out the body by heart then the blood vessels blood vessels consist of arteries and veins next question explain three major parts of human brain third question explain three major parts of human brain human brain is divided into three major parts first the fore brain which is cerebrum mid brain which is cerebellum hind brain which is medulla oblongata first fore brain cerebrum the fore brain consists of cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus it is the largest part of the brain it is responsible for intelligence imagination and reasoning mid brain cerebellum it lies behind the cerebrum it coordinates the movement of the muscles of the body it helps to maintain the balance of the body next the hind brain medulla oblongata the hind brain comprises of pons and medulla oblongata it is also called the brain stem it connects the brain to the spinal cord label the given diagram this is cerebrum this is thalamus this is pons this is medulla oblongata and this is spinal cord finally this is cerebellum so these are the different important parts of brain questions based on higher order thinking first question why it is important to wear helmet while riding a bike wearing helmet helps to protect our life and protect our head from danger second question eating fast food and junk food affects our health justify fast food is higher in fat calories and cholesterol so when compared to home made meals it is very very high eating fast food can cause high blood pressure heart disease and obesity so the answers given in this video are very simple for the 5th standard students so thank you for watching the video so don't forget to support subscribe and share and don't forget to click the bell button like and please comment thank you for watching this video guys